Hospital Porter's Pride and Dignity. Stop the New World Order. Welcome to Panwo TV. And welcome to this, the first ever in a series of videos I'm going to do, which will probably carry on pretty much indefinitely because they're my sort of general comments videos on pe what uh, people have actually said. Now, um, this is a kind of like, um, this is an experiment. Okay, so bear with me if I don't get everything right. But ba what I want to do basically is do comments People make comments on my videos, and I want to do a sort of comment reply to you. The problem is I'm getting so many comments now, I can't actually comment, I can't actually write them in. I just don't have time to go through them all, so I'm doing these videos, which will try and sort of maybe make it a bit more personal for you, and it may, you may prefer that to me, just writing out comments. And also it will save me time. And, I, and also I want to reply to your comments because I think you're good guys. You know what I mean? And so um, I, I explain this in the in the Slacks of Bigfoot comments video. This is a kind of general comments video because it's mostly the Slacks of Bigfoot comments I'm going to deal with. But I'm also going to deal with the comments on my other videos because I've had a few since I last spoke to you. Um, I've just come back from the UFO Truth Magazine conference. You'll be glad to know. And um, I had a great time. That's why, that's why I made the video I did last time, because I knew I was going to go to that, and I wanted to get, basically, comments done before then. Um, now, um, I've had, a, I've had some, someone sent me some news, um, some sad news. I'm going to make a video about that, but I won't, I won't talk about it now. I'll talk about it in the next couple of days. I'll upload a new video soon. But um, if I'm a little bit... You know, I'll, I'll go through these things, and if I can't do them all right, and if it takes me a little bit of time to find each comment as it comes up, because I'm not sure whether to go through my email, email list or go through the comments list on the videos and look at the ones that I, that people have put there and I haven't seen. It's possible I might miss a few. If I do, I apologise. As I said, this is a, a new thing I'm doing. This is a new programme that I'm up to. So bear with me. Be patient. I'll get, I'm sure I'll get the hang of this eventually. Anyway, um, Rex, going back to the uh, Will Slacks or Leave YouTube video, Rex says, please don't take this as a negative criticism. I think you're a decent group guy who makes insightful videos. Thanks, Rex. Well, you know, I mean, I don't mind if you if you want to it criticise me, even negatively. That's not a problem. As long as you do it politely, I'm absolutely fine. You can say what you like about me. Just don't... Uh, it's the people who call me... A fat bald cunt and things like that. I can't cope with people like that. You know, you say all the people with the rhetoric and the long. Oh God, I don't. It's not that I. Don't, I don't actually object to people spouting lots of rhetoric, and I won't block you or anything like that if you do on my comments boxes. But it's just how do I reply to you? You know what I mean? It's a bit difficult. Anyway, I'm going to go through the Bigfoot and Britain videos first, and I'll go through the various um, things because I've had several new comments. And I uh, want to go through. I want to give um, some people. What I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just see see upcoming comments. I'll just put that in underneath every single person who I talk about. So just refer them to the video you're seeing now. Right. Um, let me. Go, I'll go to the bottom actually because I'll, I'll deal with these comments in orders. Matthew Taylor, thanks for your comments. You've you've written an awful lot since I last. Uh, address comments on here and I'll just go but I'm going to go to the bottom first and just see who has replied and who hasn't because there's various threads here right Dofler, Dofler I know I'm not going to talk about the pronunciation of your name soon um, but you I'll let you know about the reply video yeah okay um, reply video reply video I'm just going to where someone hasn't actually or haven't actually answered somebody's comment so bear with me, ladies. I might find a simpler system system to do this, ladies and gentlemen. It's just um, at the moment it's a bit tricky. I'm getting used to this. Right, Dofler said several things. Do I believe in giant sharks? Oh, that's what, that's one I didn't reply to before. So I think I might have replied to that in the comments videos. Um, so yes, yes I do actually. Okay, um, here we go. Slaxer, <laughs> Slaxer, Slaxer. Oh, bless you, darling. Oh. I'm so glad you still comment on my videos. Um, I haven't watched it. Um, I could. I haven't watched it, but why keep using my photo in thumbnails? I could easily get it removed, but I won't. 
but it's a private photo from a private album on Facebook that you acquired whilst we were Facebook friends. Now, actually, Dave, that's not true. You gave me permission to use that photo on um, on my uh, Panway Radio notices when you were a guest on Panway Radio. I actually do state in the... This is... You're commenting on the wrong video anyway. But um, I actually do state in the video that you actually gave me permission to use that photo. All right? I, I appreciate... I'd rather you wouldn't get this removed, okay? But, you know, I I used it because... I, I used it because you, you told me I could. Okay? Um, anyway, I'll, just, I'll put a little note there saying, see comments video coming up. Okay, but you don't actually address, actually you don't address um, men in monkey suits. Maybe I'll maybe do that in the following video, that's okay. Matthew Taylor, if that's a monkey suit, it's the best monkey suit I've ever seen. With Bigfoot, there are many types. Some look more human, some look like gorillas, some look like howler monkeys, some look like orangutans, like skunk, ape, skunk apes. Also, these creatures are often seen with UFOs. Some people say that the Bigfoot were brought here by aliens to be beasts of burden for ancient gold mining. It's funny, Matthew, that's true. I mean, in fact, um, the famous Presque Isle sighting is the first that comes to mind, where an, a, a Bigfoot-like creature was seen in proximity to, be, to a UFO, so you're absolutely right. Um, I see what you mean, yeah. Um, so, uh, Matthew goes on to say... Um, Ben, there are beings like things in the UK. I've had dogman-type encounters myself. Dogmen have been seen in the UK for many years, also big cats. Local to me, can exchange, could easily sight hide one or more of these creatures. That's a good point, actually, um, which I didn't bring up in the video, which I will try to bring up in my future, uh, my interview with Deborah Hateswell. Um, but um, the dogman is a kind of like a werewolf-like creature, which I talked about previously. But there are... This is what Jonathan Downs calls pseudo cryptids. There are big, there are big feet. There are there are big feet possibly because there are big cats. I believe there are leopards, pumas, panthers, cougars, and many other large felines living in this country. They probably escape from zoos and private and uh, private um, pets and things like that. They just they just escaped, like the beast of Bodmin and things like this. They seem to be thriving in this country and they've adapted to the colder climate because a lot of them are from s tropical areas. Things like leopards, of course, are from Central Africa. But there's been um, attacks on farm animals and things like that. So uh, that's, uh, that could be an example of what we're talking about. So there are signs there. And I suppose if, a, if an animal the size of a leopard can, be, can, can live secretly in the UK, then so can something else of a similar size, and a mammal of a similar size. Now, um, so far, as far as I know, there's been no attacks on humans with big cats. And there was, a, there was, a, there was actually a, a book written called Alien Big Cats. I, I think it might have been Neil Arnold who actually wrote it. I can't remember. But it was a, there was a cryptozoological book called uh, Big Cats. And it was, it was in the CFZ Journal. I actually got a copy of the CFZ. That's the Centre for 40 in Zoology. I got a copy of their... Um, I got a copy of their... Um, journal it talked about it but i think there are these creatures are real and that's not really uh disputed anymore matthew taylor goes on to say there are many sightings locally to me in canic chase of bigfoot wild wolfman pigmen etc and these have been seen by many people for hundreds of years there could even be a small population of bigfoot type in canic and other types of beast there are dogmen are seen more in the uk now let me just get you this book here Boy, I've been... this book here i want i want this this book this book talks about the pigmen. It's by Lee Brickley, UFOs, werewolves, and the pigmen exposing England's strangest location, Canuck Chase. I want to get. I'll be, I wrote to this guy asking if he'd come on our panel on radio. He hasn't replied to me. But uh, if anyone knows him, just tell him I want to talk to him. So thanks, Matthew, for those. I'll just leave you a little tag here <coughs> to say I'm doing this. Okay. Um, Starfire Mal said, "Oh, and it was a forest." I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Like I said, this is a new situation for me okay i don't know um i'm glad you brought up the subject of mines because canic chase have, has extensive coal mines in the local area and there is active quarry in the parkland also stone circles megaliths is definitely a hot spot for ufos et's black-eyed children werewolf type beings big cats these bigfoot beings could be living on deer rabbits all sorts of food and could be sustaining them i also think these beings are in some respects interdimensional or can use dimensional. I actually think these Bigfoots 
are extraterrestrial beings because of the amount of sightings of Bigfoot seen nearby UFOs or inside UFO crafts. In the Book of Enoch, it talks about hairy giant demons, sounds a lot like Bigfoot. Um, he talks about an encounter where a man is in the USA and um, there's some kind of metallic device protrusion from the neck. Yeah, it's true, Matthew. I mean, there may be some element of this. I, I don't know. Um, the, the interdimensional element, the connection with UFOs, yes, that is true. Yeah, okay. Kevin Woolner says, lay off the whiskey, go home, stop being a twat. Right. No, I won't. <clears throat> okay, but I've, I've sent Matthew a... Okay. Um, Trevor Murray, I've replied to. Um, there's many others. I really should have um, put these various... Um, I think I did that one week ago, yeah. I'm, like I said, this is... I, I actually mentioned... I actually mentioned to Trevor that I was replying to him. Um, I'll just put like a little... I'm sorry I didn't put up the re reply video coming soon thing for you. Um, I should have done. Anyway, um, James Wonstall, s Wonstall says, I don't think Bigfoot is Gigantopithecus. They are human, but different from us. I live in Kent and Tunbridge. is situated on the Weald, where which is old German for wild, and there is quite a lot of remote wooded areas and very few people and lots of rivers and streams. 2,000 years ago, the Weald was a massive ancient forest called Andrida, which was named by the Romans, and this day, that whole area is quite rural and wild. Clan of Bigfoot. So you think they're actually part from the part of the genus Homo? Well, maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Um, it's... They, they, don't appear that way unless they've grown very long fur and they've grown to a larger size. It's it's it could be. Anyway, I'll put I'll put a little tag here for you. Hmm. All right, Kevin Brown. Who is the British? Who is this British reporter? And well, where the hell is he getting his information from? Bob Dylan. All right, all right. I think I replied to this before. I don't know. Um, this guy just says in about he says in about an entire paragraph. Something you could just say in one sentence about the pack. I might have got it wrong about Bob Glimlin being dead and things like that. <laughs> anyway, um, James Wanstall, Galloway National Forest, South East Scotland, the largest forest in Britain. Well, that's interesting because that's in Scotland where um, Charmaine Fraser says that she saw what she did, which is interesting. Um, okay, the, tr the, the thread on the bear business. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, because I talk, I spoke, uh, this is the Facebook group dedicated to Squatch, Squatch, Squatch. Um, I am on a Facebook group designate, des dedicated to Sasquatch. We have people from all around the world. There are people in the UK who have had face-to-face -face with Squatch, Squatch, Manchester as well. Oh, I think I replied to this, but there's been a few, there's been a few other things here saying, I agree you are a joker, right? This is what the astrophysicist out of Harvard said. What? Okay. Alright, so we're, good. we're moving forward on to other comments now. I'm going to have to find a better way of doing this. I'm sorry. Um, Alan Shearer is God, has, has replied. Sasquatch in Manchester? That is hilarious. Did they name it Sean Ryder? You should go and see a psychiatrist. Oh, bother me. Oh, this is just a comment. This is Again, this is a comment thread. Okay. Gan nine e. This is, I think, he's, this is where he's addressing me. It's a bear, buddy, not a lost ancestral throws back, throwback. Okay, we don't have bears in this country. Okay. Or is he still talking about Bigfoot in America? I'm sorry, I'm a bit confused about that. Right, comments video. I've already said. I think that's all the comments on that Bigfoot in Britain video. So I'm going to move on now to. Um, to another video I did, a more, the more recent video, which is the uh, it's the Bigfoot and Slaxer one. Okay, so which Slaxer hasn't looked at, he says. So, okay, so I'm just going to have a look through here. Okay, uh, Dofla, this is right. I've not actually um, replied to any of the comments on this video, which is good. That's what I want. Okay, I'm not. I'm subscribed to Slaxer. He's not leaving YouTube. That's good. I hope he doesn't. I really do. Um, 
Dopler says, stop the new world order. Stop the new order. Absolutely, yes. Um, I thought the Yeti was a separate creature from the Imbonable Snowman. I don't think it is, Dofla. Um, I think it is... Um, I think it is the same being. Okay, I think it is the same being. And it's, and it's, if anyone out there can prove me wrong on that, then let me know. Dofla also says, Ben, block the rude trolls, sir. Okay, if they get... If they go over the top, I will. I'll block them. But, I mean, I'm not going to... It's more fun to reply to them, to be honest. It's, it's, it's just more amusing. Um, Dovla also says, I've seen the monster truck, Bigfoot, an amazing machine. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot is like this big... Yes, there's this big kind of um, huge truck with huge wheels. And that's called Bigfoot, too. <laughs> Dovla says, PH is pronounced F, Ben. Have I said... Dovla, I think I've always pronounced you Dovla, haven't I? Have, have I actually... Was I, have I pronounced your new name wrong at any time? I'm sorry if I did, but I don't think I have. Okay, um, James Cox says, Ben, what about the clowns? First clowns were spotted on the streets of England. Now they've been spotted in the US and South Carolina and North Carolina. Any idea what that means? And Grumskull says, apparently they escaped from a circus and have been breeding in the forest ever since. They often roam into populated areas, scaring people. Some eventually may leave the main bunch to travel by aeroplane to other continents using stolen frequent flyer points. Oh, do they? <laughs> now, this is funny, James, because I'll actually... Um, I think I'll put a... Right, this is a bit tricky when you get into the point where you're, you're, you're doing these video responses. Okay, but James, I actually covered the clown things. So I'll put it here also, James. I'll put a link to the actual video I made about clowns. No, the, the sorry, the the Hapanwo, the Hapanwo voice, um, yeah, clowns roaming the streets. I wrote an article about strange clowns roaming the streets. I think I did, and I think I might have done more than one. Let me have a look. Okay, so I'll just put um, the first one in there. Here we go. Um, and then I'll put the other article in as well. Okay. Northampton clown update. That was it. So I did several articles on strange clowns, um, which I think is very important. Okay. Um, right. Stephen Bamber. Some channels here. Western New York Bigfoot, Forest, Frosted Forest Sasquatch, Bigfoot eyewitnesses, Dan Shirley and Barb and Gaby. Well, thanks, mate. I'll check those out. Edwardian lady says, "Have you ever considered?" Let me just uh, yeah put that um, put that comment here. All right, did Wardian lady? It's nice to talk. Nice to hear from you again, Wardian lady. Oh, it's not that. I've just got to get the links right. Hang on. It's see upcoming video. Okay. Okay. Have you ever considered making a film about Doggerland? Now uh, that's interesting because Doggerland is an used to be an island. In the North Sea before the sea levels rose, and a lot of the areas now underwater off the coast of Western Europe used to be on dry land, and um, the sea levels have been rising continuously since about 12,000 BC. Um, hopefully, they won't rise any further. But um, basically, a lot of it was really was. Um, um, a lot of it was dry land, so Doggerland is like a very, very shallow area of the North Sea. It was one of the last islands to disappear, and it, I think it lasted till about 3000 BC or something. So that's interesting, Edwardian Lady. I'll think about that. I'll think about making a film about Doggerland, yeah. Um, Tom Stargazer. Hi, Tom. I shouldn't have really commented. It was a perfect opportunity to quote Ali G after you said, We are all Homo sapiens, because it reminded me of Kent Hovind saying we were all Homo sapiens. Well, Debating Ali G. I think Kent Hovind was this. Kent Hovind was this kind of. Um, I think he's a, is he a young Earth creationist, something like that. Um, Stephen Bamber. Has anyone watched Doctor Squatch videos? I haven't, but thanks. I like the video style. Thank you, thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Right, Charlie. It's Charlie C. In Australia, no one has all the answers of Yowies. Nor can they be totally debunked. Lots of genuine people here do have pieces of the puzzle, though. If we used to be capable of more ways to communicate, which we have discarded as we became civilised, 
Why is it far-fetched to think they may have some different communicative ability that we no longer have? Their vocal cords may not be as developed as ours. They may be considered more childlike than us, but that doesn't make them animals. Perhaps they don't need to be engineers, politicians or scientists, or have a huge ego, ego as we do. Do the occasional anger episodes they are said to have only occur in their juveniles? Anyone suggesting we don't act the same way only needs to watch people fighting each other for bargains after a Christmas sale. I know it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit of a nightmare, that isn't it? Yeah. Um, again, you're you're bringing up a certain number of mysteries that really we have no answers for right now, unfortunately. So I can't really say which it is. It's it's, it's difficult to know. Um, Anyway, uh, Tom Stargazer also says panther even. Right, so that's um, that's an interesting panther. Like uh, that's the big cat thing again, isn't it? Yes, that's what, that's right. Anyway, I'm going to have to go down, ladies and gentlemen, because I have to now change the film chip because I forgot to actually format it beforehand. Anyway, see you in a minute. Okay, we're going to continue with uh, comments on the uh, Slacks of Bigfoot video. Um, M3 Stir X. I think that's is that pronounced Master X or Mr X? I don't know. Um, here we go. Um, well, I have criticism for you, and you will probably do it in a video, to be honest. But it regards the Annesley videos, of which one thing stuck out like a sore thumb. Sore spelled S A W. <laughs> and you failed to do good research on the conspiracy theory of a nuke bunker. Dan from Huthwaite. That Nigel from where? Question mark. You didn't do the due diligence. It's a bit hard to find unless you are local and have knowledge of the area. But the truth is, there is no bunker there. And I feel, and I feel I need to point this out properly. Sometimes you get carried away with stories, and unfortunately, that then perpetuates misinformation and a conspiracy theory that is not there. Um, also, I did contact you and told you I had access to a local Facebook page where I run which we could maybe have got people to interview or give anon statements about all sorts in the video and I was happy to help and guide but for some reason you had people outside the area to do it with well Mr X I don't remember you contacting me on Facebook okay and I, I don't quite understand what you're saying here and um, are you saying that was not a bunker you're saying that what we discovered, and you've also you've actually put it on the wrong video as well. You should, I, I prefer it if you'd actually put it on the relevant video. I assume you, I assume you mean the video Nottinghamshire Roswell two. Okay, uh, the Nottinghamshire Roswell part two video. Uh, so I assume you mean that one. All right, but um, you know, there's a lot of rhetoric in here. Perpetrates misinformation, and look, I'm not trying to perpetrate and do. Talking about doing due diligence and all this sort of thing, okay? Um, it's all very personal. All right. If I've made a mistake, just tell me I've made a mistake and explain why I've made a mistake. That's all you have to do. Um, Stephen Bamber. By the way, it's nine 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 today. I just sort of leave a comment post here for Mr. X. Um, it's like six six six. Oh, you're the ninth of September. Well, where was the where does the third nine come from? I have an anti <laughs> sorry I'm I'm sorry and and Grumskull says it's like six 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 up toy down man have an anti Christ day off. <laughs> um, but it's not nine it's nine 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 it's the ninth of September but it's twenty sixteen. Oh so um, I don't quite get you sorry about that. Um, Gary Robertson, hi Gary. Um, hey Ben I'm a big fan of your channel I love the Bigfoot in Britain video thanks mate thanks Gary. I just wanted to bring up something that Charmaine Fraser has mentioned in the past, which also brought up, she also brought up in the comments of your original Bigfoot video regarding Star Wars. It's not a biggie, but it's bugging me. It's been claimed that Chewbacca was put into Star Wars as a subliminal, subliminal nod to the government's knowledge of Bigfoot's existence. The real story is that Star Wars creator George Lucas used to have a dog called Indiana, who would ride around in the passenger seat of his car in the early 1970s when he was working on the original drafts of the movie. This gave him the idea for a shaggy humanoid co-pilot for Han Solo. The dog's name was later used for Indiana Jones as well. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's interesting. Keep up the good work, mate. Well, thanks for the information, Gary. I didn't know that. Bit of Star Wars trivia there. <laughs> oh, Slaxer. By the coming back to Slaxer again, as I always do, um, he's, he's, put, he's just put up a video of, a, of a Star Wars memorabilia, so you might want to go and check that out. It's very, very interesting. Okay. Um, 
Tom Stargazer. Tom Stargazer. Hello again, Tom. Me and my mum saw a panther in 1999 in a place called the River Acre Valley, Ellesmere Port. It was sighted many times and was even in the local paper. Um, right, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. So that's the big cat thing again we're talking about here. And as I said, I don't think it's even dis disputable now that big cats live in Britain. Slacks, are, um, cougars, um, leopards, panthers, you know, maybe even something, something like that. These, these large felines who are actually quite dangerous. And as I said earlier, I've not heard of a report on an attack on a human, but if these creatures wanted to attack humans and kill us and eat us, they could. I know that in Central Africa, where leopards live, uh, some local people are very, very concerned and they take precautions when dealing with leopards. Delane says this. I saw one in Oxfordshire at Boar's Hill about 20 years ago, briefly before cycling away terrified. I think that was a result of exotic pets laws in the 1970s. A few wealthy people's pets attacked them. That's interesting, Delane. That was near Boar's Hill, where Matthew Arnold had his sighting in the mid-19th century of a Bigfoot-type creature. But it's true, I mean, there was some kind of law came in, uh, which meant that people who actually owned, some people actually, believe it or not, owned large cats as pets. You know, they weren't satisfied with little things that drink milk. They had to have these things that could take out a sheep or a horse. I mean, leopard, leopards can actually grab a horse, something the size of a horse, and carry it up a tree. They're enormously strong. So they, had, they brought in these pets and made them feel good, I suppose. And then some law came about, so the people were told they could actually pay a lot of money to have their pet re, re, rehabilitated and sent back to the wild. They, they decided not to fork out and they should just let them go free. So probably there's a breeding population since then. So that's interesting, Tom. So thanks. As I said, I think somebody has written a book. I know the Centre for Forty Forty and Zoology has covered it. So maybe others will. I don't know. Um, but thanks very much. Um, and... Delane also says, and there's a conversation between Delane and Tom and um, uh, Tom Stargazer. And um, Stephen Bamba lives, used to live on the Wirral, and he's asking about this too. So thanks very much there. And Stephen Bamba says, any chance we could have a follow-up video on the Bigfoot stuff? Thanks. Well, I'll, I'll do my best, Stephen, but I'm going to have a follow-up radio show on this. So please stay tuned to Hopanwo Radio. And I appreciate all the letters you write to me as well. It's, it's very, very nice you do that. And Grumskull says, an interview with Bigfoot. <laughs> now that's... put. Don't push it, alright? Don't push it. But thanks for those uh, comments on those videos, guys. Now I'm going to go to other... I'm going to go to other... I'm going to go to other videos now. Okay, so... Um, Killington Men in Black. This is another pretty idea. I've got a couple of comments on there I want to go through with. Now again, this, I'm experimenting here. So, um, I'm... I don't know if this is the best way to actually get around all these videos, okay, but um, I'm going to go through them. Okay, right. Um, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. No, I'm not going to do that. Those are, those are old comments, which I, which I have actually replied to. Um, right, there's, there are some new comments on there. Beanie Green. Yeah, I actually mentioned this. Is it? it was a joke about the CIA thing, yeah. So thanks for that, Beanie Green. Um, okay, here we go. Um, Mike Jones says, "Great, great vid. Thanks, thanks, Mike. Cheers." So I'll put a little tag in there. See upcoming comments video. But I'm um, glad you liked it, Mike. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark Porritt says, "Are you kiddlingtoning in me?" <laughs> Groan. Are you kiddlingtoning me? Oh, very funny. Um. And then just recently, just 49 minutes before the time of filming, what video head are you using? It's so smooth. I think you're being ironic, aren't you, uh, John? I think you're, you're just being ironic. Um, yes, okay. So um, I, I think the point is that I was trying to use the steady cam thing again. I didn't use the steady cam effect on this video. Um, and I don't like the steady cam. It, it's, it's too distorting on YouTube. But again, you know, I just got to say thanks for. It. Sorry about that. It's um... anyway. Um, let's see. Are there any other ones? I'll go through these in order anyway. Uh, Doctor Jonathan Reed. Okay, there's a comment on the. There's a new comment on the Doctor Jonathan Reed video. Doctor Reed is the real deal. Too too bad that cameraman doesn't understand how to properly use a tripod. Okay, separate. This is from Separator ninety four. Okay, separate in '94. Um, um, I actually 
I'm not the thing about Doctor Reed, Doctor Jonathan Reed. I'm not so sure about him now. I mean, it's it's all a bit weird, but he's just disappeared again. But as far as I, I do know how to use a tiny tripod properly. I just have a crap tripod and I want to buy another one. That's another one. Okay, so uh, that's a comment on Doctor Jonathan Reed. Um, that's uh, I'm not going to go through comments I've made on other videos. I'll have to wait. I'll just mark them as unread. Mark that as unread. Um, Who's this one? Mark that as unread. Okay. Um, Paul McCartney. Right. Um, this is my Paul McCartney video, which is one of my most popular and controversial videos ever. About Saddam. It's rumoured that Saddam really died in 1999 and his double took over as him until the 2003 invasion. That's interesting, you see, because that's a good point. Um, I really do appreciate you making that point, Daro. 2096. Because... Um, uh, Paul McCartney, um, this this replacing of people with doubles or actors is not the first time this has happened. Okay, it's not the first time this has happened. Um, other people have been replaced. There's rumours that Stalin had a number of doubles, and there was even plans that if Stalin ever was for some reason was gone, they would just put one of the other doubles in his place. Now, there's a great book. It's made into it's been made into a few films actually, more than one, called The Prisoner of Zender. It was a it was a book written about 120 odd years ago. We talk, it's about a man, it's just a British man on holiday in some place in Eastern Europe, and it turns out he looks very much like the king, and there's a bit of a constitutional crisis because the king has like buggered off somewhere. So they ask him to play the role of the king. <laughs> so he does. But um, yeah, um, that's a good point. I'll just put a, a tag in there for you see upcoming comments videos. I've got to apologise, I mean, some of you may not have time to... So, like, you may see, well, I do have to watch this entire bloody video just to get a reply to a comment. I'm sorry, but it's just, a, I'm getting so many comments now. It's just so many bloody comments. Dara also says, maybe Paul was recruited by MS, MI6 or something and Paul took his place. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, from what I gather, Paul died in 1966, if if the theory is true, which I'm not sure if it is. Okay, but um, if not, um, then... Um, Maybe I don't know, man. That's more than I know. But I'll, I'll just put a tag in there for you. If this doesn't work, or if this really doesn't work, I will. I'll go. I'll try and find another solution because I know some of you might not want to watch an entire video just to get a comment, reply to your comment. But I'm sorry about that. I just can't keep going through this. Anyway, I can't keep going. I don't have time to just type comments to everybody. And I want to reply to you because you're good guys for commenting. I appreciate you taking the time to write what you think about my videos. I really do. Darrow again, Darrow 2096. The Abbey Road album cover looks like a composite picture and John is closer to the camera than the other three. Something to me doesn't look right. I think Nick actually brought that up. He said that there may, there may have been a composite image. They seem to be very well synchronised in the way they're striding. They both have their legs extended at the, at the same time. And there was only like a few photos taken at that time. Because this was in the middle of a busy road, remember? And Abbey Road is a busy London through fair. Even the Beatles can't shut it down for too long to do this film shoot. But um, that's I'll, I'll, I'll run that past Nick, mate. I'll run that past Nick. Because I'm doing another interview with Nick soon. So this is on Hapano Radio. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, so right. Uh, next next big... Now there's more on Dr. Jonathan Reed. Please use a different tripod in future. Maybe I could, maybe if I just write type out replies to short comments. Um, I just put sorry about that. I'm trying to just to, to save up for one. Saving up for one. I am saving up for a new tripod. Okay. I know it's it's annoying that several people have said this. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I apologise for, for for noise and things like that from the crack from the tripod, which is just I tried oiling it. It it hasn't done any good. I'm going to get a new one. I'm going to get a new bugger. Right. I give right. This is going to a video called my video. Give me back my debt. Right. Um, why don't you pay them? Says exhort Zorata Bill. Right. Oh, this is um okay. I've I've done okay. I did. Okay, I did try. Sorry to Bill, I did. Tr I did offer to pay. Um, I did offer to pay them off, but I uh, one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to play. I wanted to pay Telefonica O2. Okay, the, the the money that I owed them. I don't appreciate getting red letters from credit agencies when when I haven't even been sent a reminder. I didn't even realise I hadn't paid them, and I don't. They don't even remind me. They don't even try to contact me. They sent me straight over to a credit agency. 
uh, debt collection agent, debt collection agency. I then, um, I then am in a position where I'm supposed to pay the debt collection agency. Well, in other words, this dissolved the credit bond. Again, it's a credit bond. As I explained in that video, debt is not debt in on the stock market. It's as far as debt is concerned, it's not like real debt. It can actually be regarded as capital nowadays, which is a very weird thing. I know anyone who knows anything about economics will think, "What the hell is that all about?" But apparently, it is. It is a. Um, it is a kind of. Um, it is kind of like a, a thing they do. They have like a kind of. They they take it and they float it on the stock market. They just, they turn they turn the actual debt into a credit bond and they trade it on the stock market. And there's people who earn a living buying and sharing credit bonds. So I mean, again, if they want me, if O2 want me to pay them off, I'll pay them off. That will dissolve the credit bond. But so perhaps that the debt collectors don't really want me to to pay up. I don't know. It's it's confusing. But I don't appreciate getting red letters. People with with letters threatening me with red ink, big bold letters saying, "Do not ignore this letter." Um, you owe us so and so, aforementioned notwithstanding. All right, I don't like getting threatening letters in the post. I'm an ex hospital porter. People threaten me, right? I'm a big, tough, ugly bastard, basically, because I'm an ex hospital porter. Um, Mr. Sporkster said here, I offer to pay my real creditors. Lowell is now your real creditor. Pay your bills like a decent person would. No, they're not my real creditors. If I owe people money, they can't just they can't contact a debt collection agency without my permission. All right, maybe there's some new statute that says they can, but I, it's immoral. It's disrespectful. It's treating me as a chattel rather than a citizen. They don't need your permission. Learn the law and pay your bloody bills. No, I won't. I will pay O Telefonica O2. Okay, I owe them. It's only about bloody eighteen pounds or something. I'll pay them if they want me to. I'm not paying Lowell because Lowell are threaten me. They turn up and threaten me. Okay. I hope I make myself clear there. Right, give me back my day. Oh, it's more. Mr. Sporkster. Should have been paid in the first place, you wanker. Wonderful. I guess you're really open to... Yes, you're really open to persuasion, aren't you? You're really open to rational discussion, calling me a wanker. I suppose you're going to call me a fatball cunt as well. Let's just get really original, eh? Call me a fatball cunt. That's another. That's another video. I'm not going to reply to that. Uh, that's another video. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to some comments I've made on other videos, which I'm not replying to because they're <coughs> another video. Okay, the Michael Shermer update. Right, sixty nine Fouquet has replied on my Michael Shermer update video. Um, right, I, I think I've. Okay, he's no, he's written several several replies actually. How much have I replied to him on? Now I did reply to him. Yeah, um, six nine Fouquet says keep, yeah, keeping digital radios and Wi-Fi on at night can mess your sleep up. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, and we were t we were having a discussion about the the digital analog thing because Michael Shermer's the radio in Michael the Michael Shermer update video referred to um, um, referred to um, this it was an old radio from 1978, 1977, 1978. I can't remember one of those years. Nowadays, of course, we have a situation where radios are not radios. They don't just pick up receivers. They're part of a network, and everything has to be decoded. So there's implications here for freedom of the media. Because um, your TV or your radio, your DAB digital radio, picks up stations. But like I said, it's, if, if they wanted to, they could stop you listening to them. They just press a button, and you're, you're, you're struck off the, 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 the system. Rather than in the old days, where all you needed was a, a, a TV or a radio, and you could just pick up the signal. Now, in my novel, Rockall, Rockall, which is um, you can Rockall is actually free to listen to. No, 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 no link in the description box. Rockall is free to listen to. All right, um, you can fr listen to, listen to. Rockall is free to read my second novel, and this actually comes up because it's about a group of people who are on a de an island, a, a, an unknown island, and they're attacked by the system, by the government. And they actually are struck off. They have these TV and radios on their island because this is in the digital age. They're simply de their ability to decode their from their set is, is taken away by the by the network. Now, if I set that novel forty years in the past, that wouldn't be possible because every TV and every TV and radio receiver was independent, and they couldn't actually stop you from tuning into various channels if they wanted to. So yeah, so so Fouquet, thanks for that comment. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, so thanks very much. So I'll just delete that.
Right. Will Slaxer leave YouTube? I think I've, I covered that, didn't I? Have I recovered that? Will Slaxer leave? Okay. I'm going to go through Will Slaxer leave YouTube again. Uh, because I think I did the Bigfoot and I did the Slaxer Bigfoot. Yeah, okay, all right. So I'm going to go through. This is another one. Dofler says, um, nice one. Okay, thanks, Dofler. Um, okay, right. Uh, Dave, James Cox says, I don't think Dave is leaving YouTube. I think YouTube bury the hatchet and become friends again. But again, I mean, as I said to him before, I think I've replied to that, haven't I, about that point. That me and Slacks, I've, I don't dislike Slacks, he doesn't dislike me. We've still fallen out and it's like that. Okay. Um, right, so let's, I'll, so I'll go through anything that I haven't actually... Um, Dofler, why would he leave? Well, Dofler, this, he was saying, I'd, actually, based on what people have been talking about, yeah, I don't think he, um, he is going to leave. But he was making comments indicating he might leave YouTube. Uh, Sean Barraclough. Oh, no, I've replied to that, haven't I? Yeah. Yes, let's just, I think I've replied to all of these. Yes, I have. Um, except Fouquet, it says, Truth is stranger than fiction, her pan <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, this is uh, another thing. Okay, Jeremy Moore. Put, this is on... Um, Paul, is Paul McCartney dead? Again, okay. How much have I got? Okay, I've got... Um... Some conspiracy theories are vaguely interesting. This one is just mind-bogglingly stupid. Why has no evidence of the previous existence of William Campbell ever emerged? Apart from his musical talents, he must be the greatest actor who ever walked the earth. You might think he might have made an impression on somebody somewhere. Do you know why Paul appears to be taller than usual on the Sergeant Pepper cover? For the ludicrously simple reason that the area behind the drum is raised. Outtake stills from the photo sessions are currently available. <coughs> um, um, in other versions of the photo, Ringo and George appear taller too because they tried it out that way when Paul is postponed on the left. And lo and behold, he's the same height as a cut out picture. All right, Jeremy, I, I am still, as I said, I am in two minds about this whole thing, and you may be right. Okay, but um, the position of William Campbell, I don't know. I mean, this is the book, Bill, the, the memoirs of Billy Shears, is supposed to be uh, it was written in code where he was explaining this, but. I don't know. It's um, you make some good points. I have to admit, I don't have a reply answer for that right now. Guided buses. Uh, here we go. On guided buses. Um, um, sound nice tome on my video guided buses have said, "Yuck! What a horrible concept for any town to accept." Bring back our railways. <laughs> I know. Well, you see, the point is that. With the guided buses video, you have to watch it to get the whole point. But I was concerned about how this might have been taking away people's ability to control their own transport. And we, you know, it's essentially turning a bus into a kind of railway. Once you have a railway, you see the railways. If you travel by railway, you're dependent on it. But you have a car, or you can do what you like. But um, if you, if you, it's the the buses. In a sense, it's kind of crossover between the two, which is why I was concerned about buses. All right. Um, Bailiffs out of the blue. I've had a load of comments on bailiffs out of the blue. Let me try and go through them here. Okay. Um. Why well, if I can get through all these? Okay. I've had no, just one comment on bailiffs out of the blue. From yes, it's me again. Westcott are angels in disguise. They're my heroes, buying and selling. Our debts bless their little cotton socks. I know. I'm think I'm reminded of that scene in Jacob's Ladder where, where Louis the the chiropractor was going, you know, read your Meister Eckhart. Sometimes the demons are angels in disguise. <laughs> I know, I just wish they, if they're going to float my debt on the stock market as a credit bond, I just wish they'd give me some of the bloody money. I really do. Okay. Um, Bigfoot in Britain. Okay, I'm going back to, have I done Bigfoot in Britain? No, I haven't. Right, there's some I haven't talked about here. Um... Someone said, you don't get, Alan Shearer's God said, you don't get out much, do you? Now this is interesting because you guys, if you want to put comments on my videos and then delete them, do bear in mind. Oh no, this is a this is a argument between thirty eight seventy seven Michael and Alan Shearer's God. Okay, so he didn't delete that. Oh, sorry, I was misunderstanding. This is basically the okay. I'm going to go. For, this is all just the conversation between the various people. Um, and I've already applied it to Gan Nine E. I've already replied to Gan Nine E. Um, but Gan Nine E says, "What a load of Tommy rot." Okay, well, as I said, you you're trying to claim this as a bloody bear. How many bears live in the woods of Oxfordshire? But then he, re he deleted it. Okay, um, yeah, he's, de he's deleted that comment. 
All right, now um, just please do bear in mind, ladies and gentlemen, if you reply to my put comments on my video, and you then choose to delete them. Do bear in mind I get email copies of them. I get email notifications. So I can still reply to your comments, even if you delete them, and I will. <laughs> another video, another comment on Michael Shermer update. Okay, stop the NWO from Dofla. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Stop the NWO indeed, Dofla. Okay, um, and Beanie Green, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've, only, I've got, now got a, um, I've now got one on Helen Duncan. On my Helen Duncan, the most dangerous psychic in the world video. Someone, oh, thank you. I'm glad I get a comment on that old thing, that old video again. Uh, Beanie Green said, right, okay, here we go. This is a comment. I this is. A, I'll give you a bit of background. Beanie Green said, yeah, she. He basically said um, he was very appreciative, and he said, please more videos like this one. When she was declared a fraud, it was deliberate disinfo. Yes, this is interesting. I covered this in the video, Beanie. So thank you. And we get we get onto a discussion about um, Yuri Geller's. Of Yuri Geller's involvement in the remote viewing program and Ingo Swan, CIA remote viewer. So thanks for that comment, Beanie. And um, he's read uh, Yuri, Yuri Geller and um, Ingo Swan as well. So I appreciate you, you comments, mate, because you, your insight is very interesting here. And um, he talks about um, the remote viewing group at um, Stanford Research Institute in Menlo Park, California. And he talked about Ingo Swan there because Uri Geller, Uri Geller was involved in that too. Uri Geller also was with Mossad, not not just the CIA, but then maybe the two are the same. Right, this is another comment I'm gonna, not going to write to now. Nine Eleven Truth Poem. Right, this is this is my it's an old video from. God, this is one I, I uploaded in two thousand nine. Okay, your basis for showing respect is hinged on all your assumptions being technically correct. Um, in areas that are beyond your comprehension, which goes to show that self-labeled truthers are herd animals, just like the rest of us. Okay, so I, I, I actually, this was about a month ago I started this conversation. And um, I got it, I tried to push him into the position where he would have to engage in the logic and not just the, the rhetoric, as I've explained before. You can go around saying, it's evil, it's wrong, you're nutters, you're loonies, as much as, many times as you like. You can say that to your blue in the face. You can call people every name you can think of in your little pocket thesaurus you skeptics carry around with you. But unless you can prove, unless you want to talk, unless you can actually say why the official story is true, and the burden of proof is on you to say why it's true, then nothing's going to happen. You can't, you know, you, your, your creativity with your insults doesn't send magic feelers out there to magic to instantly transform the world into the model that you want it to be in in real life. It doesn't work like that, okay? Grow up. And so H double F con, this is the guy who I'm talking about here. As his last comment three days ago was real bullshit twenty four seven on the internet. That's great. And well what what point are you making? As Richard D. Hall said, that's like saying you can't believe that. You read it in a book in the library, mate. Oh, okay. You people tire me, you really do. Uh, Slack will Slacks I leave YouTube. Dofler, I think I've replied to these. Okay, I'm Bigfoot in Britain. Dofler says, right then, I think I'd reply to all Dofler's comments. I'm sorry if I haven't. Another one on Dr. Jonathan Reed. Okay. Is this, okay, is this guy full of, okay. I, again, I, he goes on about the bloody tripod, and I, I apologise for that. But you're not going to tell me what the evidence is. There's, because he says, there's strong evidence that this guy is crazy. And he's full of shit. Okay, and, and then guess what? He hasn't actually sent me a list to, um, this is very interesting. Oh, here we go. This is just repeating, I've seen this before, middle, okay. This is just repeating all the stuff that was on that UFO, the UFO Watchdog website, which I talk about in the damn video. I've already covered this. Oh, so anyway, this is just, this is, yeah, I've seen this, I've seen this. Um... Okay, this is, I think this is actually a cut, you've actually put here a cut and paste. This video on this midnighthollow.com looks suspiciously like a cut and paste from UFO Watchdog. This is almost 10 years old, this web page. Okay, I cover it in the damn video. Watch the video, if you haven't got time to watch the video, I know it's a long video, then just don't comment. Okay, and this is another one I'm not going to reply to. And blah, blah 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 blah, and I think that's it. I think that's all your comments now. Oh, I've got another couple here now. Um, 
Now people are starting to add comments, which I won't read because um, all right, I'm not going to read any more of these because new comments have actually emerged while I've been making this film. Anyway, thanks for all your comments, guys, and there'll be another one of these coming up soon. I'm going to, I'm going to try and make find a way to make this work. I know some of you will say, "Well, I can't." I make a little comment. Do I have to watch this long video just to, just to answer you to comment? I'm sorry, but you know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I don't have time to type out the comments. I'm, so this is maybe an, a suitable alternative. It may be a nice compromise. Let me know what you think. I may not choose to carry on with this actually um, because it's, it's looking very complicated. But thank you for watching this one. Um, I'm going to be uploading another video in a couple of days because I've had a bit of news which I want to talk about, and it's sad news. And it's not me or my family or anything like that, but it's still. I've. I just. I've had a bit of sad news when I got home. I, it, came, it, it appeared when I got home from UFO Truth this afternoon. I love the UFO Truth conference magazine. A conference, by the way. Uh, the UFO Truth magazine conference. It was very, very good. I sold all my books. I sold twenty. I sold some of my old novel as well. And um, some of you I know were there. You were actually there at the event, and it's really great to meet you. So um, next week I'm going to be in Watford. So I might. Next Sunday, if you can get to if you can get to what, the Watford UFO Tr UFO Academy next Sunday, I'll be there. So um, I hope to see you there. That should be a good evening. I'm not speaking. I'm just turning up and watching. So thank you for watching Apanwo TV Hospital Port as pride and dignity stop the new world order.